Atal Punj has worked tirelessly for over two decades to convert Punj Lloyd into a two and a half billion dollar diversified engineering conglomerate. As India moves towards bridging its infrastructure deficit, corporates like Punj will play a crucial part. So who better than Atul to give us the Infra Report Card? Atul Punjwani, thanks for joining us on CNBC TV 18. We're doing a look back at the year that was since the last budget. Infrastructure, a lot was actually looked at from the finance minister. Not much really happened, you know, outside of the IIFCL takeout financing scheme allocation up as far as the JN and URM was concerned, Bharat Nirman, the, uh, you know, sort of urban rural housing scheme and so on and so forth. But from an infrastructure point of view, are you satisfied? Have there been more misses than hits? No, I think I'm extremely satisfied as to uh, the way the, uh, the whole sector has gone. I think the public expectation uh, was that as immediately post the budget, mm. that suddenly we would be seeing 20 kilometers of roads a day, for example. Yeah. But I think the that was never a realistic target. No, it is a realistic target, yeah. but there is a time to be able to get there. Yeah. Now, if you look at the sequence of operations, first we had the model concession agreement that was really fraught with a lot of, lot of negative issues, mm. which was preventing a lot I of the now, financing. In fact, very few issues left. Now, pretty much cleaned up totally. Yeah. The number of tenders that are now being uh, uh, made in larger and larger packages mm. to get bigger companies to be attracted to those projects mm. is now uh, in the process of rolling out. So I think you'll see a lot of major awards happening by March mm. this year. Yeah. Then you will go into a financing cycle because a lot of them are on a PPP basis. Right. And then you will see mobilization and delivery at site. So I think we'll probably hit that target of coming up to about 20 kilometers mm. within about six to nine months from now. Mm. But on the power side again you see... So the NHAI and the highways program to your mind would be the single biggest hit as far as the economic report card is concerned for this government? Oh absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And I think on the, on the power side again we're yeah. seeing a lot of movement happening. That's right. A lot of independent power producers are coming in, some merchants, some PPA base. Mm. Uh, uh, most of them are in the, uh, uh, the point of financial closure now. Right. Uh, we've received a significant amount of business in that area. Mm. Uh, and we're ramping up significantly. Mm. And I think the issues really going forward are going to be more uh, from the point of view of capacity building. Right. Uh, the two major uh, constraints that I believe could affect the sector going forward would be finance right. and people. Okay. So power, how would you rate the overall performance? Power, I would say, if you had to ask me on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it right now about a 6. A 6. Around a 6. Okay, that's, that's not bad for a sector that has underperformed consistently Correct. consistently Correct. so six on ten is not bad yeah. outstanding issues that you would actually like the government to look out for as far as this budget is concerned budget 2010 what are your key expectations? I think the, the, for me personally the budget expectations have got fairly diluted now because it's no longer the black box that it, yeah. it used to be sure. so I think to really expect too much coming out of the budget per mm. se is, is not really worth anybody's time mm. but as um, uh, a company and as an individual, I think what India needs to focus now is on the governance issues, mm. the delivery mechanism. Mm. Okay, governance not really so much of a budget issue, True. but outside of that, concern really on whether the stimulus measures will be withdrawn or not, amounting to almost 3.4 percent of GDP. Yeah. All going into a financial closure pretty much at the same time. Yeah. All right, some will get financial closure very quickly, mm. depending on who the uh, the private part uh, promoter is, what their balance sheets mm. look like, etc. But there could be a spate of other not such strong balance sheets mm. that are going to try to pick up large amounts of financing mm. where there will be delays. So that could be a constraint. You know, the fact is there's just so much of it coming for power okay. and for the highway sector okay. and possibly ports tomorrow okay. simultaneously. Okay. I know it's simplistic to ask you to put a number on the economic performance in the last year, but I'm going to ask you nevertheless, uh, you know, if the budget were really to sort of uh, present an architecture that was inven investment and growth oriented, how would you say that the performance has been in the last year? I think pretty good. Uh, I think last year the entire economic scape in a sense was impacted by the global issues and uh, there was a lot of confusion about to what extent India would get impacted, yeah. would, could get impacted. How coupled we were, how decoupled Correct. we were. There was all yeah. that dialogue about globalization yeah. and you know coming together or, or not coming together. Yeah. So a lot of it got confused, yeah. the analysis. Um, so I don't believe that the government really got the kind of credit that it should have got. Okay. Okay? That happened pretty late in the day. Okay. Okay. After we realized suddenly that, oh, India is not pretty much, uh, it is not as affected as the rest of the world. Yeah. So suddenly Mr. Reddy was remembered again and, you know, yeah. a lot of kudos started flowing around. Yeah. So overall, I think we've done a great job okay. uh, in this period. The fact that we are largely domestic uh, consumption based mm. has been a big savior, right. which earlier was a big criticism because right. everybody was rushing into the export space. Right. Uh, so overall, I think it's been a good, uh, a good run. And I believe next year is going to be even better. All right. So good run next year, hopefully even better. Atul Punjwani, thanks for speaking to us on CNBC TV 18. Thanks Thank very you. much indeed. Thanks. thanks. thanks.